Hey guys, how's your day going? Well, mine's, it's not bad, but do you ever just wake up in a, in a funk? I don't know if I woke up in a funk, but I'm definitely irritable today. And now it's not that time of month. I don't have that time of month anymore. Um, I gotta stop saying, um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm just a little irritated and I am not quite sure why. It sucks. I'm on my way to work. And uh, the good thing is, kind of work distracts. You know, distracts you. Oh, there's my cat. Nero, get home. Get home. is trying to make friends with uh, the people that are renovating the house. Not my house. But anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I'm just irritable today. I'm not even, I don't know. I'm wondering, I went to dinner with a friend and we were just kind of talking about life and where we're at. And like, we don't give a shit if we date. We don't want to be bothered. We kind of want to get our life together because at this point in, in my life, and she even said in her life, we just want to be good in a relationship. And I can honestly say every time I've been in a relationship that has gone horribly wrong or the person was a complete fucking psycho trust me I've had some psychos or controlling or you know whatever I reflect back at myself and I'm like where was I in my life at that point like where was I emotionally mentally work wise living wise etc 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 and I'll tell you Every single one of those relationships, I was broken in one way or another. The longer I stayed in a crappy relationship, I was more broken. Other ones, you know, they would be, of course, great in the beginning because every relationship's always, you know, fucking amazing. You're in the honeymoon stage. But then you would start seeing the crazy. And for the most part, as I've gotten older, I get out of those relationships a lot sooner. I see it and I acknowledge it. It's that that tickle in the back of your brain, that voice that's being like, bitch, you need to move the fuck on. So I do. I I do give myself credit that I am now not putting up with shit as long as I used to. That, that's the good thing about getting older. Hopefully you realize, you know, patterns and you get out of them. And also I have to say, people don't like when I say this, but it's true. You attract what you are. So if you're attracting crazy, you're some type of crazy too. You might not be the same type of crazy as what you're attracting, but your energy level is right there and, and the same. Because why the fuck would anybody who is so together and so much doing better in life than you are really want somebody who is broken or whatever. And I'm sure people are like, well, that's fucked up just because I might not be happy in my job or, you know, or I have this emotional thing going on doesn't mean I don't have something to offer. No, you do. Trust me. I get it. But you sometimes have to repair shit. And not all the time are we going to, we're never going to be perfect. I mean, I know that. Trust me, I know that. I'm never going to be perfect. But there have been points in my life where I was in a really good spot. The one relationship I can think of where it was a really damn good relationship. There's a couple. I was in 
good headspace, good spots in my life. And every time I've been in just like a shit relationship, I have been broken in one way or another. So that's all I'm saying. You know, you can agree or disagree with me, but honestly, think back at relationships that have been really bad ones and think really hard what was going through your mind at that time. What was happening in your life? Why did you allow yourself to be in that type of relationship? And there's a lot of motherfuckers out there that are a hell of a lot better off than most and all they want to do is, you know, save somebody, rescue them, you know, and that in itself is an issue. That, believe it or not, that in itself is a issue. Somebody who wants to save somebody, whether it be emotionally, financially, I've learned with people like that, they're extremely controlling and they're broken because they feel like they have to rescue somebody. They feel like they have to throw money at them and do stuff for them, for them to get you to like them or want to be with them. It's, it's interesting. They're a bit of a predator, believe it or not. I'll tell you a story later on about my biggest predator. Ugh, it sucked. But anyways, um, so yeah, back to we were having discussions about that and um, just life. And I think I actually, you know, I, I went to bed. I know I dream, I had a dream or was dreaming about things. I can't really tell you what it was about because I don't really remember. But what I do remember is it left me unsettled. Oh God, that coffee's good. And um, I think being unsettled had to do with talking about just life, you know. We want to have, you know, oh, it's amazing. Everything's great. And that's one thing is I was watching a vlogger on YouTube and she was talking about how she doesn't like to, you know, show that things are going wrong in life and always has this persona of, yeah, life's amazing and blah, blah, blah. And I get it. We don't want to look vulnerable. We don't want to burden people with our shit. Um, everybody has their own problems. What makes your problems any more severe than the next person. I get it, but when you have to sit there and try to act like everything is fucking hunky-dory 24-7, that you're this perfect person, I don't know. It, it, I think that will mentally cripple you because inside, you're dealing with shit. Maybe you're able to get that shit out when you're not trying to be perfect for the masses, but nobody's fucking perfect. No one. And I don't want to emulate that. Oh, my life is so great. Cause trust my life is so not fucking great. I went through a horrific situation last year. Oh my God. I, I will definitely vlog about that and hopefully help teach people how to avoid the shit I went through because it was fucking devastating. I went through some really dark times and some people might watch the vlog and be like, oh, that's no big deal. I've been through this. I get it, people. I fucking get it. But when it's your life and you're having to deal with it, trust, we all have our things. I will look at people that have shit so much better than me and they'll complain about something. And I used to be like, fuck, your life is, but I don't know. We all have our personal demons. Things affect us in totally different ways. I'm just trying to be a more compassionate person and realize that, you know, people hurt and got shit going on. And maybe that shit isn't important to me, but maybe it's really important to them. Now, I will say when somebody's like, oh my God, I just can't believe it. My whole day's ruined. My Starbucks wasn't right. Bitch, please. You know, if honestly, that's your worst 
problem. Bravo for you. So I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling. I do. I like doing these little car vlogs. I don't know if anybody else does because right now I only have six subscribers and I think maybe one person likes these damn things. So I would appreciate it if you're watching this shit. Please click subscribe and also like my videos. I have also come to a conclusion that I need to kind of change how I'm going to vlog. I'm watching other people vlog and I'm like, oh my God, I love that. And I'm watching them for whatever reason. But, you know, I feel that I really want to be my authentic self. Why did I just decide, ugh, why did I decide to do this? Maybe it's a way for me to vent and just get shit out or I don't know. But one thing also, I will, I will say, I really want to try to educate myself and others about getting older and where our minds are, where our health goes, how we look. I'm not some amazing beauty by any means, trust. I'm not sitting there thinking I'm all that in a bag of fucking chips. But I think I look pretty good for my age. I've had... <laughs> a very interesting life. I have changed careers multiple times. I have had a blessed life and I've had a not so blessed life. I am going to honestly get pretty fucking raw on here as time goes on when I feel more comfortable. I think it's important that we get shit out because mental illness and everything in this country is getting crazy. Shit, we had <laughs> more sh school shootings last week. And it's like, what's happening? What's happening with our youth? What's happening with people where they're just fucking snapping? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to talk about that. And it's interesting. The thoughts that I have now about life of course have drastically changed and I never thought in my 20s or maybe it started in my 30s a little bit that I would think the way I think now it's it's kind of creepy it's kind of crazy but I just want to try to also educate the younger you know the younger generations like hey I'm not sitting here trying to fucking preach to you, but I'm going to preach to you. And I hope that you'll remember what I say down the road, like, and be like, oh my God, yeah, I remember her saying that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. This is also going to be a fun channel. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to do some crazy shit too. I, I, I am a very fun person. So, oh shit, the popo. -po. The popo -po on a motorcycle. Damn, that's a new spot. Huh. He's no joke. He's flying. He's going after somebody. Uh, anyways, guys, you know, it's a Friday. It's my Thursday. Tomorrow's my Friday. Have a really good weekend. Enjoy your life. Please comment, reach out to me, subscribe to my channel, like my crap. I have, I just made a Twitter. I also have a Facebook page and Instagram. Everything's in my little, you know, profile thing. You can click on it. So yeah, let's, let's go on this journey together. Let's have fun. I really appreciate you. I really do. So anyways, guys, have a great weekend. And I will be vlogging again soon. Actually on a ca camera, like a camera rather than my phone. I got my new PC. I'm just trying to figure it all out. It is a lot to take in. So be patient with me. But yeah. All right, guys. Thanks.